here I am again. I started cooking the things that I was telling you about in the last video and I realized I left some things out. You might want to know. So I put all those potatoes on to boil uh, instead of chopping some up for soup, peeling and all that. Boiling them all, take them out when they're cool, peel them easily or not, and make the soup that way. Uh, and leave some of them in the fridge and use some of them um, however I decide. And then I did the carrots and I was going to peel the carrots and I thought, you know what? I'm going to chop them in half and put them whole in here and cook them and then once they're boiled, they'll be easy to chop up. And who cares if they're peeled or not? So there's that. So what I'm talking about is a lot of good food that doesn't take a long time. There's a lot of shortcuts that you can take. And when I started making the squash casserole, I realized I left a bunch of stuff out. So I told you that I put in um, peppers and squash, obviously I chopped the squash into little, little um, slices and I rolled it in flour. I'm not rolled it, but I just added like a heaping tablespoon of flour. And I don't know if I told you or not, but I use chopped onions as well and um, garlic, salt and pepper. And I was going to use my corn on the cob uh, for my for my Mexican style soup and I said I'll just take corn out of the freezer I think I want corn in my squash casserole that just sounds really good to me and another thing I didn't tell you that squash casserole has a ton of cheese and sour cream in it we'll see what I'm starting to see why this is really good right so this is what I'm doing here if you can't see is I'm just slicing this corn like that and um, that goes in the in a casserole it's gonna be really good and then I had the baking drippings again normally I put ham in this but I had the leftover bacon drippings. So um, I put them in the oven. You just heard the timer, that means it's melted. And so I'm gonna pour this over the squash. It'll sound really yummy, because it'll be really yummy. All right, and I'll mix it up and put the cheese in there so it doesn't just totally melt all the cheese. and uh, put the rest of my corn in. Turn my timer off. You know, if I was making a stove, I would make a pleasant, beautiful, musical timer. Because I think the idea, if it's really an a, a irritating sound, you'll come and turn it off, but I tune it out. I don't hear my timer a lot of the time. Board that my daughter made me one year when she didn't have any money, her dad helped her, and so I love it. Always look for a way to work within what you've got. Don't be going out spending a bunch of money you don't have. Nobody expects that, you know. Uh, people would rather that you didn't. Okay. The thing about homemade uh, food is when you have company and you serve them homemade food, it doesn't have to be fancy. They're just happy because they don't get it. You know, so there's some sour cream. I like to get organic dairy at Trader Joe's. Their prices are really good on their organic stuff. And cheese. Where is my cheese? I had it. Well, I won't make you wait. You can tell the way I cook. I just dump some in, stir it up. This is going to need a little sea salt in it. And um, I ground up some pepper last night, so this is nice and fresh, because I don't want to stand there and grind, grind, grind while I'm cooking. So I just did this in the, in the coffee grinder. It smells really good. Uh, and then this is going to have roasted garlic, which I squeeze. I, I put the garlic, I cut off the end, not the root end, the other end, make it flat. And then lay the flat end down in um, a baking dish, cover it in oil, I use olive oil for this, and bake it really low until it's nice and caramely, and then you squeeze it out, squeezes out so beautifully, it's just so fun, and it's so, so good. Uh, for our purposes today, I'm just going to put in some um, garlic powder, and add that cheese, which again, I sure thought I had in my hand. Um, 
But so now you know a little more, more about why the squash casserole is going to be so good. And I have I've taken this to a lot of gatherings. People always love it. And if you love this or even like it a little, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.